what's up youtube it's your girl channel love and i'm back again with another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i did this beautiful install okay. off camera i did go ahead and laid my wig cap down using some gold spawn and got some glue spray Prior to gluing your wig down, you also want to make sure you use some alcohol just to clean the forehead and make it free of any dirt, oils, or anything that will make it install not last. I did cut my lace off prior to recording, but to cut your lace off, you just want to cut in a zigzag motion. For glue, I'm using Ghost Bond, and I always use three layers of Ghost Bond. And before you add another layer, always make sure the previous layer is completely dry and clear. Sometimes the glue will not dry completely or turn completely clear before you start laying down but I don't want the glue to get too dry and the lace ends up not sticking so if this happens to you it's okay to start gluing it down because the glue will turn clear after you glue it down. This wig was small so I had to make my client hold the other side as I pull the other slide to glue it down.
Right now I'm cutting up diagonally towards the ears to carve the ear tabs out. Although the lace does look a little bit crinkly now, I am going to flatten that out and glue it down. But right now I'm going ahead and just cutting off excess lace. Never be afraid to add more glue as needed. I don't like to have glue in front of my install so I'd rather not put enough and just go back in and add extra if needed. This is a little trick I like to use to um, make the middle part very seamless and blend into my client's skin. Right here I am parting out the baby hairs and this part is going to be based on your preference or how if your client wants their baby hairs. For this install I was going for the little widow's peak look so...
to flatten everything out, of course, you want to go in with your hot comb. And this time, I'm not using any product while I'm hot combing because I noticed that if you keep using glass with glue spray and the wax stick every time you hot comb, it's going to make it install very crusty. So I only use that when necessary. Although I part um, my client's wigs before install, I like to go back in and repart if needed because sometimes even not place it in the middle, it may not be on the middle of my client's hair. This part is based on preference and what you like. So I am going in with an eyeshadow color that is lighter than my client's skin to define the middle part. And of course you can use a eyeshadow color that's your skin color instead of using a lighter one. Of course I know it's the part where it's cricket, but don't worry, I will straighten everything out. That's what I'm doing right now. As you guys can see, the wig is not blended as how it should be, so I'm going back in with a darker foundation color just to blend things up a little bit more. To seal everything off, I'm going in with one layer of even spray and as you guys can see, this helps the lace melt in even more and it even has a stronger hold than Gatsby glue spray. To get these wand curls, I am taking larger sections with a very small barrel and that's a trick I learned from Slay by Jordan. And basically you take larger sections and use a very small barrel wand. This wand curler I'm using can be found on Amazon and this is the wand curler that comes with reattachable barrels so you, it has different sizes and right now I'm using the smallest one it comes with.
please note that I am curling the hair towards the face so that it frames the face and gives it that little swoop effect.
I'm sorry this angle is not the best, but I am curling my baby hairs using the skinny pliers that I got from Amazon. And to lay the baby hairs down, I'm using just a little bit of Gorilla Snot along with the even spray in the red can to hold it down some more. Since this is colored here, I don't want the baby hairs to be too hard because when it's too hard, it will take away from the color itself. So I like to do it semi-soft.
Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like this video and find it very useful. Once again, this video is not sponsored by any hair company, so there will not be any links in the description box where you can purchase this wig from. However, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.